Protesters in Israel are putting up tents in major cities across the country to highlight the growing cost of accommodation. They have been joined by members of parliament. Our Israeli correspondent brings us the story. During the past few days, young people in Tel Aviv have been protesting the high cost of accommodation in Israel. They claim that the protest is about the government's helplessness and the fact that Israeli citizens are not able to make ends meet with their monthly salaries. One of the leading demonstrators is Ahmed Adler, who decided that he is unwilling to suffer the current situation. We're sick of paying this enormous rent. It's becoming too much, and we want a true change in the Israeli society. We want to restart the state the way it looks and to become a more pitiful society, not a society that the landlord come to you and every year and throw you out of the apartment because the rent has become too expensive. This woman has been in the protesters' area since the first day. We are protesting here out of great distress, which has existed for the past few years all over Israel regarding accommodation. The rent is extremely high. Apartment prices are extremely high. The average, normal, non-rich person in Israel feels that most of his salary is spent on accommodation. It is like we're in an endless rat race trying to make ends meet. This distress is widely expressed, with young people going out on the streets and putting up tents to make their point. The protests have spread all across the country, with thousands of people raising tents in the major cities of Israel. And this is why everybody is uniting together, no matter what their opinions are and political views or whatever. We are all in need, together as one, to fight. To re to fight for our right and to tell our governments we are in need of the most basic assets. Save us, change the situation, save our society. Because tomorrow we will not be here by choice. We will be here because we have nowhere else to go. And maybe even a tent we will not be able to afford. That is the most important thing. Israeli parliament members arrive in order to express their solidarity and some try to suggest solutions. I believe there are two solutions. One is to do what is being done all over the world, which is to encourage the construction of apartments for long-term renting conditions. And the other is to commit to purchasing, something we've done during the 90s with the arrival of new immigrants. I suggest that Israel will not sell any lands to contractors. What happens is that the contractor who purchases the land will not build anything and wait instead. The price of land will rise, so all they need to do is sell the land without building anything at all. And the people here are unwilling to give up. They will carry on with the protest for as long as it takes. We are here to stay till true change would happen. NTD News, Tel Aviv, Israel.